Kevin Donnelly enters his 38th season as a head football coach, his 19th at the University of St. Francis. And some feel that the excitement surrounding the team entering the 2016 season is unmatched from seasons past. Well, it's always fun, you know, when you win. Uh, it's a real test of what you're made of, I guess, when things aren't going so well, but it sure is more enjoyable when, when it's going good. Uh, and it was, I think, a real tribute to our coaches and our players, uh, the attitude, the effort, the commitment, uh, to flip that from six and five to 12 and one was a, was a fun year. Uh, and we still got to keep the fire burning. You know, human nature is, boy, that was fun. It's just going to happen again. And, you know, you can't do that. You know, you, you've got to take a day at a time and a game at a time. You can't uh, look too far in the future or you fall off a cliff. You know, it, it's just one step at a time. So we've just got to continue to get better. We've been in uh, camp without classes now for oh, going on three weeks. And, uh, you know, we're a little beat up and, and uh, sore and that sort of thing. But something about when game week comes around, you, we, we all get recharged and ready to go. And there might be one Cougar more anxious for game one at Trinity International than any other. And that's six-year senior, Akeem Kelsall, who suffered a season-ending injury to his Achilles during the summer of 2015, as Akeem was set to begin his senior season. When it happened, I was just like, ah, what do I do? Because it felt like some, somebody hit me with a gunshot. So like 10 o'clock in the morning, I was like, gunshots on this side of town was pretty tough. And I was like, oh boy. But when it happened, I was just like, dang, I'm out for the season. So I thought like, dang, now I got to get like a real job and get ready for the real life. Because I thought like I was no more football. And then people said, oh, you should come back. this. But I never thought about being here like another year. And just like when I thought like the fact that like being my last year with Matt and Noah, Cam Smith and Cody Abdul and Seth Stewart, I just thought like, I gotta go out with a bang. I gotta, I gotta, I wanna do this for these guys and just go out. But when it happened, I was just like, I took a step back cause I felt like I distanced myself from the guys, which is like my problem that I did. I distanced myself, feel like I wasn't a part of the team. But every time I talked to them, they asked me like, where you been at? You come hang out with us and just, I was just like, man, this is you guys team. You guys do what you want. I, I'll still be there to support. Still, I try to make it to every game, but it was, it was a tough feeling. It was very tough. You know, he's such a neat kid. You know, he's red shirted his freshman year out of high school. And then he had a great career. And then he had the Achilles injury before his fifth season. And uh, I thought that he would go ahead and graduate, which he could have, uh, but he chose to uh, extend it for, you know, to play his senior year. Um, that tells me that guy's got a lot of passion for the game and his teammates, and uh, it's really important to him. So I, I could be happier for him. I was a little reluctant when he made that decision. And, um, you know, how do you recover from that kind of injury it was a concern. And, you know, he, the fact that he could be out working and making money and all that good stuff now, but he chose to do this. So you, you have to admire the, the passion that he has uh, for this team. His passion for the team intensified as he watched the Cougars finish off an undefeated regular season last year and finish one game short of the national championship. I felt like anything from a six and five season just to work our way up was amazing. Like us being like, I saw that first game, I thought, okay, okay. Then I thought it was a fluke, but the second, third game, it just kept going on. And you have a good quarterback like Nick Ferrer just coming off the scene and just breaking all types of records. It's like a sophomore year, so which was amazing. Then you have like, like think about it, Seth Coat took a huge load off of Cam Smith because having like that All-American season that he did have. So the Seth Coat took a huge part of the load. Then you have like the sophomore and Boz came through, which is like amazing. Like I saw it, I was like, wow. It like impresses me every day. And I was just like, wow, what they did come from a six and five season, coming over adversity, like Coach Dowling says, every day. And what they did was amazing. Kelsaw too has been amazing at times. He has over 1,600 all-purpose yards and 13 touchdowns under his belt. He also has experience as a kick returner, which could lead Kelsall to seeing significant action this season on special teams, while joining the NAIA's number three scoring offense. And Coach D likes what he's seeing from Akeem. Well, you know, the guy's body regenerates. <laughs> it's like he's from Krypton. You know, after that injury, it's going to take him a while, and he's bouncing around and running. I think it's like it's regenerated into something bionic or something. He, uh, 
can run faster and jump higher than ever, and he's ex you know excited about playing this year. Um, again, with injuries right now, you know he may have to be in a kickoff role. He's playing inside receiver, he's playing outside receiver, and you know he's a guy with tremendous speed that you want to get the football in his hands uh, anytime you possibly can. This year, I'd like, I mean, pretty much the same thing like Cam did, because I'd be like pretty much filling that role. But also, like, you gotta realize, look at Seth the year he had last year, just taking like a load off him, like he did for like Cam. So that's pretty much how it is. And also the return game, yeah, I did in my first two years, but now I'm actually doing punt return and kickoff return. So it should be exciting and fun. I'm just ready just to be a part of like a great atmosphere, a great dynasty that we've been continuing doing. One game short last year. Hope we don't fail this year. The Cougars begin their journey looking for the program's 13th conference title and a return trip back to the national championship game, a feat that was accomplished three straight years during the 2004 through 2006 seasons. Up next, St. Francis will travel to the western suburbs of Chicago to take on non-conference opponent Trinity International. Well, again, it, it's uh, great to, to get into game week. Uh, get out of two-a-day camps with 12-hour days is difficult. So we're excited to be in game week. We're excited to travel to Chicago Friday afternoon and uh, play at Trinity. I think they're uh, uh, going to be a much better football team. They've got like 20 starters back and a couple of transfers. Uh, they're excited about their team. Um, you know, the social media, the way it is, you know, our kids uh, look at all that stuff and, and uh, they think that uh, they're going to be a real contender over in the Western uh, division of the conference. And of course, their goal is to upset the Cougars week one. You know, you worry about yourself. Champions worry about becoming champions. They don't worry about opponents. It's just like, yeah, like you said, they return back 20 starters, but also they get like a new defense coordinator. So it's kind of hard from watching film from last year. So you don't know like what we're getting or what getting thrown at us. So pretty much we just have to like run our game plan and run our scheme and just like, just go out there and play Cougar football. That's pretty much what we got to have. But the 20 starters, you look at it like, ah, oh, they might be pretty good young team. So they should be coming back, but you just never know. We're just going out there and play like our type of football and hope to get a win.